We're rolling here on day two of the Auburn Mountain View event, and in the Standstorm period, I see all six robots out of their hab. 35-74, the high techers in position with a hatch panel at the nose of the blue cargo ship. They have placed it, and that's going to secure some cargo and help the Blue Alliance to an early 17, now 20, now 22 to 12-point lead. Sandstorm has cleared and all robots now with clear visibility. And you see 2906 briefly over on the red side of the field now back and trying to decide if they want to play offense or defense. Offense, no, the clear answer for the Talon as 3588 puts cargo into the blue cargo ship, extending their lead 25 to 14 now the count. Answered quickly by 948. They're the number four seed at the moment. They put three more points on the board for the Red Alliance. And the Blue Alliance lead sits at 10 points as we approach a minute and a half to play. 2906, Sentinel Prime getting in the way of the red scoring attack. 948 NRG slowed but undeterred as our referees indicate they don't like something happening on that side of the field. We'll sort that out later. Meanwhile, it's 3588 with a clear pathway to the cargo ship. The Roboctopi motionless possibly having some communications problems. That's going to put the Red Alliance at a further disadvantage. NRG continues to work on the cargo ship as the Roboctopi spring back to life. Meanwhile, their alliance partners, the RoboCub, currently our sixth seed, are working on that front side red rocket, and they are nearly have their first hatch panel in place. Under a minute now to play, the Blue Alliance lead down to three points. Now it's tied back up to a three-point lead for the Blue Alliance as the scoring is fast and furious here in qualification match number six, the high techers continuing to place hatch panels on the cargo ship and the rocket. Now it's the Talon having filled up mo one side of the blue cargo ship. They've turned their attention to the rear rocket, a hatch panel in place, nearly matched by one from the techers, but 3574 has some trouble. End game period is upon us, and our robots heading back towards their HABs. The high techers, the first up in the air. They are clear on the level three platform, and that is 12 big Blue Alliance points. They're joined by their alliance partners, and the Blue Alliance will take home at least one ranking point in this match. All three red robots get home, too, as qualification match number 60 is history. We are official at the end of qualification match number 60. Victory in this match to the Blue Alliance. 62 to 47 is the final score. Blue Alliance takes home three ranking points. And that helps the Talon leapfrog NRG. They're now up to fourth place. NRG swaps into fifth. And the Robo Cubs now down to eight. Those top eight positions all important as they will determine our alliance captains as we move into the playoffs. 60 matches down here at Auburn Mountain View, 16 more to play, and the next one is 61. That'll be on your way in just a moment. <laughs> 